Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by Condition to Air, the comfort people since 1962. I'm Janelle Simmons. Today we have a deadline, Fort Rock Festival lineup, and more. Today is Monday, April 18th, and this is the lunch break. Those filing their 2015 income taxes had extra time to file this year. Still, if the April 18th filing deadline feels as though it came too early, there are some U.S. Postal Service locations that will be open late for last minute filers. If you're in Naples, however, be prepared to make an extra drive. With the rise of e-filing tax returns, over 90% of all tax returns filed in 2015 were done electronically. The days of post offices open until midnight to ensure that tax returns would have all the important postmark date at the deadline have passed on. No locations in Collier County will be open past 5 p.m. and just three in Lee County will be. E-filing can still be done until the deadline. In an extraordinary display of internal discord, the chairman of the Republican Party's Rules Committee accused top GOP officials Saturday of a breach of our trust by improperly trying to impede a proposed change in bylaws that would make it harder for party leaders to nominate a fresh candidate for president. Bruce Ash, RNC committee man from Arizona, wrote the harshly worded email to the other 55 members of the GOP Rules Committee that he chairs. If you want to learn more, visit Naples Herald. With just over two weeks between today and the first deal bending, the Fort Rock Festival has released the lineup schedule for the two-day event rocking Jet Boot Park in Fort Myers. Go to Naples Herald to check out when your favorite band is playing. That was the lunch break for today. I'm Janelle Simmons. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also is Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.